and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube as well for some Demir Mill. That's right, we got a new donation deck here submitted by a viewer to try out some Mill in Standard. As you can see here, we got lots and lots of new Throne of Eldraine cards in here from Merfolk, Secret Keeper, and Overwhelmed Apprentice to one drops that can um, help you know mill our opponent a little bit um, and play a little bit of defense. Then of course we have Drown in the Lock for our removal spell, a new card, and Into the Story. We want to refill our hand, draw lots of cards that we have here. Um, I think I think the real power in our deck list is going to be Drown Secrets. This card is just pretty incredible if you get to get this down early and then start playing a bunch of spells. Drown Secrets works really well with like Merfolk Secret Keeper that counts as two separate spells whenever you're casting it to help mill our opponent out. Um, with with our deck here, I'm, I'm worried about our amount of defense. Like we have we have some counter spells with the didn't say pleases. We have um, a little bit of removal with Enter the God Eternals, and then of course Drown in the Lock can do a little bit of both of those. But I'm not sure if that's going to be enough, but we'll see. The mass manipulations um, are really expensive, of course. You know, you, like this is six plus mana, and with it being four blue sources and us only having 17 blue sources, I'm, I'm worried about that as well. But you know, we're, that's what we're going to play the games for and see what happens. Um, sideboard, we got a lot of good stuff. You know, just like good removal, um, depending on the mat matchup. And I like having a couple Ashioks over there in the sideboard as well. Um, I think Ritual of Soot is a little better than Cry of the Canarium these days, as far as a sweeper goes. But here we go. Let's let's give us a try though. All right, let's get some wins. Okay, so Sir Clueless, Clueless says that they've been playing Blue Black Mill deck a bit, and Thought Erasure and Brazen Borrower are two big uh, ones this list isn't using they could could be using. Yeah, Brazen Borrower, that's good defense. That's also, that's, that's two blue spells for... Um, for uh, Drown Secrets as well. So I like that. You like Narset in your mill deck? Okay. Yeah, Cry is awesome. That's, that's a good point. Cry is awesome against um, the Cauldron Familiar Witch's Oven combo. Uh, there's something wrong with the mic. Um, I think I'm going to play this. So this is tough. I need, I want to hit the land drop, but I want to play Drown Secrets also. <laughs> Guess right, so I'm playing Drown Secrets. Card's just too good. Alright, Mike's better? Okay. Yeah, so like, I guess like our deck doesn't have Ashiok in the main because of, yeah, we have Into the Story, we have, um, you know, like our main removal spell at two mana is the uh, Drown in the Lock. And so like with Ashiok turning off Drown in the Lock, that could be pretty rough. I don't know what mic sounds over modulated. I don't I don't know what that means. Honestly, I don't I don't know like the most technical stuff. I'm not sure what that means or what what a fix is to that.
They look like they could be a reanimate deck. Okay. A lot of y'all say the mic sounds fine. Okay. Thank you. So, like, <clears throat> playing Overwhelmed Apprentice here... I don't need to kill this Tonebound Lich. All right, I should have played. I should have played the over the overwhelmed apprentice and looked for another land drop. Definitely hoping we just draw land. This doesn't really look too much like a reanimator deck with all the stuff that we see over here. Kind of looks just like a, a blue black creature deck. I don't think it's a reanimate deck. Scredlord! Thank you so much for that resub. And yeah, thank, thank you so much. Thanks, Red Lord. I appreciate that. So that's sub number 28 on the day. I don't, yeah, Dinkle, I, I don't think anybody else is hearing anything. I, I obviously can't listen to the clip while I'm streaming. What's our opponent want to do? So I like casting the Enter the God Eternals before Bond of Insight, where Bond of Insight can pick it back up. I said that pretty quickly. So a bunch of Cavalier of Knights, a whole bunch of Cavalier of Knights. All right, we, we're halfway through killing our opponent. They're down to 30. We are still at 16. Whoa. Okay, well. Of disaster. Um. This I can create. I don't think I can really deal with that. Destroy. No, Anoop, I do not. Hmm.
I do have mass manipulation in the deck. Alright, so they went down from 30. They're down to 21 now. We haven't seen mass manipulation yet. Truth lies beyond vision. And the more... Whoa. Let us march into battle. The more card advantage they get with Ugin and Liliana, the faster we kill them. So that's a thing. Yeah, yeah, I could have, yeah, I could have killed Mur. Yeah, the thing is, I'm kind of thinking that like the more they tick up, like that's each time they tick up, like that's a life total. So I kind of felt like we didn't really need to to kill Lugan, honestly. Maybe that's maybe that's not correct. Down to 14. So I got two Lilies, two Ugins. Three Cavalier of Night. I don't I don't think we're gonna even have another drowned secrets. Yeah, you know, like we're just We're still at 16. They're at 13. They tick up the Ugin. They go down to 12. Whoa. That's going to draw them some more cards. I would like to draw a land to be able to go Bond of Inside and Drown. So they drew three cards, but they put a Murderous Rider down at the bottom. So then with that tick up now, they're at 10. Murderous Rider down at the bottom. That felt like some dropped frames and stuff. So they're at 10. We're taking 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That doesn't kill us. So they're down to two. They got one card left, that murder that murderous rider. And I have the center of the guide eternals. Hey Marcus. Yeah, we reset after the, the thief deck. I don't think my computer likes the mill decks too much. Or like ar arena. When we get lots of cards in the graveyards. 
Because whenever we were playing against the mill deck last time, it was that's where I was getting really laggy there too. <laughs> Calling it Jason Hand. No, no Jays. <laughs> we won without ever casting Drown into the Lock, which I think is the best card of the deck. <laughs> I just never even cast this Drown in the Lock. Yeah, I cannot, I cannot pick Mer Merfolk Secret Keeper back up. Good help is they can to loop find in war. Swift End and Rider in their draw step to not deck out secrets manifest before you well they have no cards in library right now so I don't even have to cast this enter the god eternals so I can just pass and have double counter spell up Hooray! Okay. So... No sideboard? Well, Ashiok doesn't work with Drown in the Lock and Into the Story. Which is the, which is the problem with Ashiok. But, of course, you can build this deck without those cards. Do, 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 do. All right, no sideboard. Yeah, it's definitely possible that, that blue-black control should not have drown in the lock or or sorry blue black mill should not have drown in the lock or into the story and should be built around uh ashiok instead i don't think we need negate for ugin we already have the four didn't say please and we have the four drown in the locks that can be negates so I think we're okay on counter magic. We have we have eight counter spells in our deck. Ah, my jar of water. It's gone. No. It's Hawkeye. He's laying back here on the couch. He just sprawled out. We got our best card in our deck. The rest of my hand is terrible, but we got Drown Secrets. <clears throat> and we have one one other castable card to help to hopefully help us find another blue land. Wow, that's rude. Are they gonna say enter the God Eternal so I get new, two new cards? Come on, enter the God Eternals. Do it, do it. No, my best card, no. <laughs> yeah, Hawkeye's not one for late night streams. He's checked out. That worked. Wow, so many unmoored egos. I think I'm going to put that land down to the bottom. Yeah. 
No, I'll keep it. Yeah, so we got rid of a Nugan and got rid of two other Unmorty Goes. Oh, that thing's an instant. Well, I should have waited. <clears throat> Right. Blue Black Mill deck, I saw use the Lucky Clover with the Adventure Mill for and run away together to return it to hand. That's pretty cool. Alright, they're down to 41. We're at 17. We're losing. Cool. So if we kill Midnight Reaper, they have to draw more cards. That's just a plus. Uh, I guess I could keep up Drown in the Lock for a Planeswalker. Instead. Nah. Yay, got rid of the other Ugin. And a fourth on Mordigo. Yeah, we've been streaming for yeah, streaming until for Eastern time from noon to midnight. It's it's eleven twenty right now. Duress. Uh this is. Yep. You are correct, Pure Poker. This is the is that cover? Sack Midnight Reaper. Draw another card. Dang. All right, nothing to do here. Pass the turn. Don't mind me. Wait, I'm messing up. No, this one's the sorcery. Uh, I was going to like do this and have this up. No. No. <laughs> Ugh. That wasn't the best. All right, so game plan next turn cast Bond of Insight, return into the story. Hmm. I should maybe kill, maybe I should kill this Masker Girl. Yeah, I should probably kill the Masker Girl. They're down to 22. There goes a Liliana. Down to 14. So next turn, I Bond of Insight return into the story and to the God Eternals. Ooh, 
drag tour. Hey, good luck in your interview tomorrow. And Rev Daddy, you have an interview as well. Good luck as well. Y'all are going to crush it. All right, so I should, I'll grab the didn't say please. Kind of be safe. I'll grab the didn't say please and another end to the God Eternals. They're down to six. We're still at 17. <laughs> Just walking into all the thoughts I see. There you go, that's a good day, Meadzilla. You got a doctor's appointment, and then you're gonna get some new tires. It's a good day. I'm gonna write a Teamer Walkers sideboard guide for my Patreon page, for my brand new Patreon page. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. I am going to counter this because I feel like it. And because it kills them. Um, I'm going to be watching the, I'm going to watch the new, the Spider-Man Far From Home movie. I haven't seen that at all. I'm going to watch that movie. Um, I'm planning on doing a bunch of Throne of Eldraine drafts tomorrow. Learn the limited format so I can start making some, some limited content on YouTube. And that's kind of about all that I've planned. I may go in and like get some groceries, get my hair cut, maybe. I haven't seen Into the Spider-Verse either. I haven't seen that one either. Oh, really? This is a big limited deck? Blue Black Mill? No, I'm not going to I'm not going to do draft on stream. <laughs> Ember Cleave, best card every format. Wow, what an amazing hand for us. Drown Secrets on turn 2, Drown Secrets on turn 3 with Overwhelmed Apprentice. To set up to make sure we continue to hit land drops. Hmm. Uh, yes, I would like those cards. This looks mono green to me. So they had a mono green deck. Yeah, it looks mono green, more mid rangey. It didn't have anything to do on turn one, two, or three. All right, we're they're at 29. We're halfway through their library. Yo, that card is busted. Ow. All right, look for land. Um Sure. That's like the next best thing to a land. Because if we would have drawn land, then I would have Bond of Insighted. But we get to do this. 
All right, that's pretty good too. That was a pretty good turn. All right, so they're down to 17. Another beast. The beast. The beast. They're down to eight. <laughs> yeah, Drown Secrets is, is crazy. That's why Drown Secrets is our best card, for sure. Frenchy Fries with the sub. Thank you, Frenchy Fries. Oh no. My opponent killing me. They're killing me. And there goes their library. I'm going to take out the mass manipulations. I think they're too slow. And bring in Noxious Grasp instead. You know, like I think I'm just, just going to replace those. Um, I think that's all I'm going to do. Yep, that's all I'm going to do. Nothing else. Yeah, so we can see why our opponent kept their hand. They just had, you know, beast, 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 four lands. You keep four lands, three questing beast. You probably keep that. Well, their their library was over. Like they had, they had no more library left, so they just conceded. So that that was my turn seven. My opponent had the you know, uh, we were on the play. And they went turn four beast, turn five beast, turn six beast, and then we killed them. That had like a drown secret, so I would think about it. Oh, I like all of these cards. All of these cards are very good. I don't know what to put back, honestly. I don't think we can put back a land. That's not that. I'm not, yeah, I'm not putting back a land. We're not putting back the Drowned Secrets, obviously. It's one of these other three. I don't even know what to do. All right, into the story. We'll put back, even though the card can, can be very good, it's our worst card at keeping us alive and stuff. Nope, opponent kept. Obviously, I was supposed to get rid of the didn't say please. We had another one. My opponent kept 60 cards, so no, they did not bring in the whole sideboard. <laughs> no, don't. No. Don't play that. Why would you want to play that card? It don't have a place at a veil somewhere. Oh yeah, I don't I don't know what's there's something wrong here. That should be one and oh. There we go. Thank you.
Oh. Shifting Ceratops is mean. Yeah, I only have two grasp in the deck. <laughs> so it'll be it'll be difficult to draw the other. Play something. Why is my opponent playing anything? They have so many Bronzodons. Is it because we're milling over all these spells and then they just draw lands? I had to just top deck the Noxious Grass because then I need the counter spell for the Questing Beast. Alright, anything else I can do against that card? I could Unmoor to Ego for Shifting Ceratops. Ugh. That's not a good plan. Yeah, Pro Blue. Can't target it. If we can, you know, if they, if they would just have another creature out that we could enter the God Eternals, and then make a four-four, then the, enter, the God Eternals can block it. Not only do we have a Noxious Grasp for a Ceratops, but we also have the Bond of Insight that could get Noxious Grasp back. We need black mana though first. No, no black mana. Uh Where's our black mana? My opponent's shown to be incredibly patient with having the Ceratops out there and not playing anything else. Good. Gives us time to activate castle. Unbelievable. This is 
is rough. I just have to do this. Milled over four lands. Witness the ties that bind us all. Be wary of <laughs> no, this is obviously not a mono blue deck. If you look at our hand. And the problem with just playing basics, it's, yeah, like, it's like this, this deck really can't afford to have blast zone, but it's like, we need, we need the gain life lands. Like you, you need more, we need more dual lands. Cause yeah, there's only nine black sources in here. I mean, technically there's only two cards that need a single black in the deck, but still. Ugh. And you know, we have the ops to try to find them, but sometimes you just don't find them, and we didn't find any there. We cast opt, yeah, we opted twice there and couldn't find black. No, there's no fable passages or anything. So yeah, we need dismal backwaters in the deck. At least. All right, we got our best card, Drown Secrets. So we're keeping. We're hoping to draw lands. We'll take it. It's a land. Need to keep drawing lands. Yeah, my opponent probably had Veil somewhere there also. There we go. I imagine that the red deck is going to be quite bad for us. I imagine this is the worst possible thing for us to play against. Gave them a chance to play like a Torbrand first, but you know, I need to kill these two power creatures. I can't sit here and take four every turn, obviously. Yeah, yep. The the person who submitted this deck did say that they were a newer player, and so they may not have realized that we need more dual lands. That's okay. So this is ten damage here. Um, yeah, I can't hit anything. You can see a little bit more of their deck, but. Ten damage because Torbrand adds the extra two damage on here, so this the spitter does three when it attacks, then another three, and then the Torbrand attacks for four. So those two right there attack for ten. Um I'm not too confident in casting Cry of the Carnarium. But we're gonna try. 
and Legion's End, and we are going to cut one Bond of Insight, one into the story. One didn't say please. Yeah, we don't we don't match up against mono red. I mean that's just kinda how it always is, right? Like mono red defeats the blue black mill strategy, right? Like that's just not <laughs> that's not changed in the past 26 years. That's not anything that's changed. So we're just we're just playing we're yeah we're playing this list here and then we'll um, talk about some possible changes afterwards. But then I, I don't go back and and replay the deck. Okay, the opt is awesome. The did the didn't say please is not bad. But we need to hit lands to try to get to the center of the God Eternals. This is honestly a hand that maybe we could win. Like, this is a, a perfect hand. Drown Secrets on two, Drown Secrets plus Overwhelmed Apprentice. And then, like, with this stuff, like, this is, this is really as good as our hand can possibly be. So, honestly, maybe we could get there this game. Bone Crusher Giant. Okay, I'm gonna keep it because I need land, even though that's not it's not ideal because we'd want a blue source here. to be able to play the Seeker Keeper again. You know, we gotta keep the land. Uh, this is Witch of Athena's deck. Brazen Borrowers for Tempo. And the two hits off of... Hmm. Eight damage coming in. Really want to hit this land. Really want to hit this land. Yay. So I could kill the Bone Crusher Giant, but the bo that would do two damage to me to target the Bone Crusher Giant with its ability. But instead, so instead I'm just gonna kill that thing and then my four four can block the four three and then my one two can now check this one one. Yeah, I, I have a switch that I'll I'll uh, play off stream. So I'm um, currently playing Fire Emblem, Three Houses. I'm playing. Th I'm almost finished the second time playing the game. Right now, 
I'm doing the uh, the golden deer house this time. No, that is not ideal. All right, well, now the one two doesn't. The one two just chomps, so we're gonna block like this. The Witcher game is amazing. Okay. I did the Black Eagle house first. We honestly may win this game. They're down to 15. And we can kill them next turn if we can, yeah, like, actually, I guess just two, four, six, eight. I guess that doesn't quite kill them. So we need to, like, either draw a land or opt to find a land and then enter the God Eternals. And so, like, those that combination kills them next turn. Thanks, Crispy. Yeah, thanks for joining... Join in the Patreon over there. No, uh, that's 10 damage. Gosh, Tor Torbrand just does so much damage. Having everything add two. Dang. We had our opponent the next turn. The next turn. Dang. All right, so we went one and two. Not bad. It's respectable. Played a lot of good close games and everything. All right, so some changes that we were kind of talking about. So we're talking about having like dismal backwater in here. You know, it's a common. I think we need, just need more ways to. You know, like we want to have lots of blue sources, but we need them to have be have black sources as well. It's a gain life land. We can, you know, find a place to kind of put it in. Um, I would not play Blast Zone, honestly. Yeah, I just wouldn't play Blast Zone. I don't think that our deck's going to have time to really ever ca ca to be able to use Blast Zone. Um, and so, if we take those out, then we could take out an island or a swamp. I guess probably just a, an island. Yeah, probably just take out an island. And then we just have the, the dismal backwaters. I, I think that the deck should have 25 lands, not 24. Also, um, you know, we can we can draw like more spells and stuff, but we got to be able to hit our land drops. So I think that we should have 25 lands. Uh, mass manipulation is just going to be too slow and everything also. That's not something that we really need in here. Um, so then, yeah, add Thought Erasure also. <laughs> Let's see. So, yeah, maybe, yeah, so maybe some Thought Erasures. Our deck needs more... We need more, like, hmm. All right, I've had, have a, have a good night. We need better, like, defense. Maybe, like, a couple of ritual, like, at least a couple of ritual sits in the sideboard. I like ritual of sit more than cry the carnarium. And... Noxious Grass could, yeah, could maybe be like a four of. What if we bring in these Thought Erasures, what are we getting rid of? Are like the Into the Stories too slow? It's possible the Into the Stories are too too slow. 
Ether Gust is really nice. Hop Goblin, what would what would you recommend here? You're some, you play a lot of mill. Then to the God Eternals were just incredible. Kind of want to play four of those. Yeah, the the didn't say please did not look too good. The end of the stories are really slow. Yeah, that, that's what I'm thinking too. Is that I want all four enter the God Eternals. That's not a good thing to, to type in. Uh, no, Drown Secrets is our best pot, is our best card. There's no reason to to get rid of those. I did like Bond of Insight though, honestly. I mean, Bond of Insight felt better than Into the Story because it mills the opponent while like picking up like exactly what you want to pick up. So, the Wall of Lost Thoughts. We want another wall. The wall, the wall didn't really seem to block a lot of stuff. Um. Yeah, maybe not even playing the the into the story. So maybe this is Thought Erasure. Cause so like the problem with Thought Erasure is that we really want to play Drown Secrets on turn two, and we won't play Drown Secrets again on, on turn three. Like Drown Secrets is what we want to play early. And like casting and then also casting Thought Erasure and like having counter magic, those don't really go very well together. I don't like Vontress. Vantress Gargoyle is not, is a really bad blocker because you have to have four cards in hand for it to block, and so that that just doesn't happen all the time. Um, I, I actually I don't like Gargoyle at all. Um, you think Th Thought Razor should just be in the sideboard? Well, then what do we have in the main deck? You play four Thief of Sanity. Thief of Sanity does do a good job of milling the opponent out. Oh yeah, we could just play Brazen Borrower. I mean that that is a mythic. But yeah, actually I like Brazen Borrower more than Thought Erasure. They lets us just kind of keep playing like this instant speed game for the most of, most part with these things, and it gives us two spells to cast for Drown Secrets kind of thing. Even though like the three ones probably not blocking too much, but that that petty theft, like that bounce is really nice. Um like just just the bounce part is really nice. You like unsummon? Cuz yeah, you can uh, yeah, that is true. You, you can unsummon your own merfolk also. Is unsummon better than borrower? Cuz it just costs 1 mana. So run away together, you have to have one of your creatures out. If you don't have one of your creatures out, then you just don't get to cast it. So I, I wouldn't want to play Runaway Together. I think Runaway Together is the worst of the three options. I think that just because this is just not going to be, like, this could just get stuck in your hand too often. Um, so I think I think Unsummon and, and Brazen Borrower are the best options there. And I think we'll go, I think we'll go Brazen Borrower. I don't know. Un yeah, unsummoning your own Merfolk, Merfolk Secret Keeper is really nice, though. Maybe we can go back get this other island in here. We don't. Yeah, we don't need all these castles. Take a swamp back out, because we're going to want a lot of blue lands. Um. Anyway, sideboard.
the rest of the sideboard. Maybe just don't play Elder Spells. Maybe don't. Actually, you probably just don't need on Mordigo. Yeah, I would. I would not play on Mordigo. Yeah, yeah. Brazen Borrower is just the opponent. So, you, so Brazen Borrower, you don't get to bounce your own Secret Keeper, but Brazen Borrower can be two spells. Actually, Unsummon's probably better. Just costing one mana, and we don't we don't really care about that three one. Yeah, actually, I would I would play Unsummon. Elder spells should be disdainful strokes. I think like the the thing about elder spell is it gets rid of royal royal scions and oko. Like those those planeswalkers that everybody's playing. I think you want elder spells for those. You got like one got like one borrow or three on summon. There we go. So maybe try something out like that. But so that, that should be a good start. That's not perfect, of course. You know, like we're just kinda of putting it together here, but I, I think that could be um a couple of things to kinda of help us out. Uh you know, help out our mana a little bit there get a little bit lower to the ground with, you know, a little bit lower to the ground interaction with like the unsummons and stuff. Um, and hopefully that can help out a little bit there. So the Lockmere Serpent, we don't really need that because we're not attacking our opponent. So we don't, we don't need Lockmere Serpent. We're not attacking them. Anyway, that's Demir Mill. All right, that has been 12 hours. Our 12 hour stream is over. Time for me to get some more food get, get, and uh, get to bed, rest up. But if you're watching the video later on YouTube, uh, you know, feel free to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. Hope you do that. And what I meant to say was feel free to uh, leave a comment over there. If you're if you are a mill player, put your list down in the comment section, you know, post your list down there. So um, the person that that donated for this deck can, can get some more ideas. Um, if you so, you know, if you if you like playing Demir Mill, put yeah, put your list down there in the comment section or, or you know, at least uh you know, let me know how are you having success with mill? What's working for you? Do you like playing? Maybe do you like playing Ashiox in, in the main instead of like the Drown in the Locks and all that kind of stuff? Um, but there we go. Anyway, that's Demir Mill. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.